Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, welcome back. So it's looking like we're going to be seeing some warming temperatures over the next yeah. few days, but fortunately not as bad as it's been at this time last year or even in the past few weeks. Yeah, if yeah. you remember the all-time record hottest summer ever last year, we had triple-digit temperatures into early September. Uh, we've got a bit of warm-up this week, but uh, you'll like, I think, some of the uh, extended temperatures as well. We cool back down. We have more moisture on the way as well. Let's kind of show you what's going on outside right now. We do have some clouds still hanging around over the mountain areas. Otherwise, a beautiful afternoon across the Wasatch Front. You can see from Enzyme Peak, looking south uh, over the downtown area. Temperature wise, we've been hovering close to averages across much of the state for this time of year. Although Brigham City, a uh, uh, scorching 96, uh, 93. I don't think these temperatures are accurate because I'm showing upper 80s. Not sure where those are pulling from. We'll have to go back and double check those. Our highs today, 90 uh, in Provo, 87 here at the studio, but it is showing 93 at the airport, 81 in Evanston, Vernal 89. St. George has hit 100, so a big bump up in temperatures now that we've cleared out. We had some some of those cloudy skies that help keep our temperatures in the 80s earlier this afternoon. Uh, as far as precipitation goes, it's been pretty dry across much of northern Utah this afternoon. Not the case for all areas of Utah, but we've already seen 2.75 inches of moisture for the month, well above our normal amount to date. We usually just have just over four tenths of an inch. So we're now trending the fifth wettest August so far. So if you thought, boy, it's been a wet August and a cooler than normal August, you're right. We've had abundant moisture and it has helped some with the drought, uh, mainly across northern Utah. We still have areas of central and southern Utah that are dry, if not moderately dry. But 58% of the state has no drought right now, which is great news to see. Another, another view or vantage point, this one from Scott Taylor out flying the drone over the downtown Salt Lake area, showing some of the clouds we had earlier today. Moisture potential tomorrow still hangs on for areas east of I-15, mainly along the far northeast corner, though, in areas of Duchesne, Uinta County, expecting to see some showers and storms. What we're seeing, see all that dry weather down to the south and west of us as high pressure starts to build back in over the western states, right over the Beehive State, essentially. It'll help pull up that dry air. Monsoon moisture moves out. But then later in the week, notice high pressure scoops up more of that monsoonal flow. We'll start to see more showers and thunderstorms by Thursday and Friday. So some lingering moisture overnight into tomorrow. Plan on increasing moisture over the mountain areas, mainly by Sunday afternoon. Could see a few showers, if not some nocturnal thunderstorms tonight into Sunday morning, uh, even across the Wasatch Front before things start to dry out, I think, over northern Utah. Moisture moves out of the state entirely, I think, by early next week. We'll see sunny skies statewide. In fact, flash flood potential across southern Utah goes away for our national park areas on Sunday and into Monday next week. No risk of flash flooding unlike we're seeing today. 100 degrees for St. George, 103 on Monday. Plan on sunny skies Tuesday, 104 to 103 Wednesday. Breezy winds as well. Thursday, Friday, we're going to throw in that chance of isolated to scattered storms yet again. So monsoon moisture making a comeback. Temperatures falling significantly as well. Upper 80s by Friday in southern Utah. So that's down from 103 on Wednesday. Normal high is now upper 90s for St. George. The Wasatch Front, we're in the upper 80s typically. So above average highs, 91 tomorrow, 93 on Monday, 97 on Tuesday. Some breezy winds plan on upper 80s on Wednesday. So we'll get almost 10 degree drop by midweek. As we get a storm system, a weak front passing by to the north of us, it will help channel up some moisture eventually into northern Utah. By Friday, we'll throw in a slight chance, Friday and Saturday. It'll be quite blustery towards the end of the week as we start to see some of that cooler air move in. Still warm, uh, but not quite as toasty hot as we are going to be through midweek. Sarah?